what, what do you want me to watch? This? My first hijab? Okay. What's wrong with this? Also, the music is weird. Um. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Let me turn down my AC. Welcome to a video. Yes. Oh, is she doing like actual Trisha Paytas? Oh, we don't need that arc back. Is should I start a podcast with Foodie Beauty then? Wait, should I do that? Since Trisha and Ethan, I'm kind of like the I'm kind of like the Wish version of Ethan Klein. So should I start a podcast with Foodie Beauty? Right? That we there's an idea there. We would we can't call it frenemies. We'll have to put something with food in the title. Food foodies. Foodemies. How would you what would you think about that guy? What would, guys, what would you think about that? And then think about it, because Trisha's always hitting on Ethan. This girl would probably always hit on me. Look at me. How could you not? Look at this. How could you not hit on this? I'm six foot four. I'm of a chunky guy. I'm a big bear. I'm attractive. She'd be all over this, but I'm married and I have to say no. And she'd call my wife a bitch. Just like Trisha. This would go perfectly. And my wife has a brother that they can marry and make things super uncomfortable. He's gay, though. But he, they might, hey, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe she's the beard he's looking for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just learned that yesterday that a beard uh, is a woman that uh, a gay guy dates to make it seem like he's not gay. That's the, that's the, that's the joke. I learned that yesterday. So I don't know if you guys know what that is. So should we do that? Bad idea. It probably is. It's very surprising. I'm sure for a lot of you guys and it's not a live stream. Okay. okay. I'm trying this out in all honesty, because uh. you know that I have been very overwhelmed with a lot of attention in okay. general like i said i'm getting online I'm people have told me that i need to watch like i watched a, a thing that was like up to a certain point and i need to watch more of like her behavior up until now um but i'm gonna tell you i'm not that interested in it but you guys told me to look at this so i figured hey why not just take a, a quick quick look at it that know? i need to have some negative with the positive okay. i know that i will be re forever remembered for my rages um you know, me i too. always have tried to good thing my rages aren't on the internet do what I felt was no. the appropriate thing to do when it comes to criticism. I mean, I, I started even, a YouTube I, channel. I could not tell you if that's even true. I was just... I think she tries to, to copyright people, but I don't really know. I don't really know the specifics. Throwing myself into this, and I really just didn't really... Never imagined what kind of world it was, and I really had no idea. Random girl um, sashayed across her. So... Okay. As you can see, I purchased my first hijab today. Um, okay. This is just a two-piece set. Um, I could do more videos on that another time. Well, I'm just wondering why are you having like a religious crisis, or are you like are you genuinely looking to, to turn to some kind of like religious entity because like you're feeling like you're getting a massive amount of hate and stress in your life, and you want to be able to take a deep breath and maybe the religion of Islam is that the right right the religion of Islam? Maybe that's making you feel more grounded and centered, or are you just doing it as like an attention grab? Because those are those are two very different situations. Some people have religious revelations, bro. I get it. You know what I mean? Like sometimes they just go boom, they spark into you. But I wonder if it is genuine or if it's just kind of like a an attempt to stay relevant. I don't know. Um, I bought a nice pin for it, even yeah. though this is a already um, it's already molded or whatever you want to call it. It's already fit. Uh, it's a two piece, so I don't have to do the wrapping. Is what I meant to say. So I don't really need a pin, but I think the pin is so cute. So. And it's actually really comfortable, and I'm actually surprised when I put it on how it just fit and just felt nice. Um, I uh -huh. feel that I feel good being covered. Oh, she's bald. Oh, well, that's sad. Who said that she's just bald from not ma taking her meds for PCOS? Well, listen, man. I, I like not to not to be that good, but listen, listen. I feel like when you said that, you said it with some stink on there because you probably don't really like her, which I understand. That apparently, she's in a lot of bad stuff. Again, I'm not super educated on it, but we've all done some bad stuff, so I guess I'm probably a little more lenient to that stuff. But if she wasn't taking her meds for PCOS, I can't imagine that she was just like, fuck it, I, I'm so lazy, I don't want to take them. Maybe she couldn't afford them consistently, or maybe the meds will fuck you up. Bro, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing. Let me tell you something. My mother had cancer. Oh. 
And, um, you know, when she, she had cancer and she also lost a tremendous amount of weight too. Cause she had like, you know, she got like a really bad heart thing years and years ago. So she lost a ton of weight. Then she got cancer, then COVID hit. So she kind of gained a little more weight, not as much as she did had before, but then she gained a little bit more weight. And one of the reasons is because the medication she's on to make it so her cancer doesn't come back and kill her, it causes weight gain. So she's at the doctor's office and she gains some weight. And the doctor's like, oh, you know, would you like me to take you off the cancer medication? My mom's like, I would rather be fat than fucking die of cancer. It's one of those things where like sometimes, you know, maybe she decided that the baldness being the negative outcome was better than what other, what whatever else negative outcome would come out of her taking her pill. Maybe she, maybe it was like maybe the pill would have caused weight gain or maybe it would have caused mood swings or maybe it would cause this. Uh, and so she's like, you know what? I'd rather just not take the pill. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. Um, she doesn't have PCOS. She had a hysterectomy. Does that mean that you can't have PCOS anymore? If you have a, can you have PCOS with an hysterectomy? Uh. A hysterectomy is not a cure for PCOS, and here's why. And uh, androgens are still being produced for women with PCOS who have had a hysterectomy and her ovaries removed. She will still experience the long-term effects of having elevated androgens. Okay, so what you're saying right now, I got to get, I got you, I got to get you guys like in a little bit of gear here. You're saying a wrong thing when you're saying that like her getting uh, her a hysterectomy removes her PCOS. You guys have to educate yourselves on this shit because this is like this is kind of dangerous. We're getting into like narratives where like, oh, she's faking her PCOS. She had a hysterectomy. I googled this. It took me 13 seconds and it's already telling me that it doesn't matter if you have a hysterectomy, you can still be negatively impacted by PCOS. So I'm just saying, yeah, she shaves her head probably because she's balding. I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? I have an aunt that's balding. Like, what, 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 you know what I mean? Especially for women, that's much worse when a woman balds. I mean, that's what it, I mean, it's uh, beauty standard wise. So I'm just saying, dude. I'm a little bit insecure about my hair loss. Okay. And I just feel more secure being covered. The guy in the background is funny. And okay. I have decided to try to be more, try to adopt different values, try to be more humble. Because at the end of the day, when you eat all of the paneer and you eat all of the fried chicken sandwiches and you, you, you know, you sleep with the world and you do all kinds of things that are just temporary gratification that sounds like my uh sounds like my mid-20s <laughs> you realize that there's just at the end of the day there's just only so much temporary oh you're bald foodie beauty name every bald person if you really care very instant <laughs> gratification and bad habits that you can chase and at the end of the day you're still just left with what now so i feel like things that are more important to me are starting to be our values and principles and things like that and I really just kind of want to start actually doing the legwork and turning a new leaf. Okay. You're saying she never had PCOS? This is a problem. I don't know if you guys know what the fuck you're talking about. Maybe she does or doesn't have PCOS. It's also possible that she has like some kind of other hormonal imbalance that's not PCOS. She might have elevated testosterone that could be causing her to lose her hair in some capacity. Um, there's a lot here. I imagine that if she's balding at her age or even in general, she's probably has some kind of underlying um, imbalance of her, uh, you know, her um, hormones in some capacity. Um, so it's possible like that's that's completely possible you know what I mean like I feel like a lot of you guys are like desperate to kind of go I mean I don't know I guess I don't maybe she's a real shit person I don't really know Um, but it feels like you guys are just going fucking mental on her now I'm still Chantel and I'm still Foodie Beauty and okay, I still as a result of that am a very eccentric person I always will be, and I just always need to be moving on and experiencing so many different things in life. She told us the about it? Okay, then she I might have live, PCOS. I don't there think it's just inside of four walls, you know, all the time. Okay, maybe inside of four walls, but it has to be different four walls all the time. And I just don't know. I, I really wanted to travel and experience different cultures and different life, and there's a lot of values and principles of different cultures that I appreciate. Okay. So I just want to say that I'm not sure what is going to be happening going forward in the future, I'm not sure exactly where this journey will take me. So far, it's been taking twists and turns, and honestly, some of them have been very painful, and some of them have been really, really hard, hard lessons. But at the end of the day, I think that I can say at the fart. I'm grateful for the experiences because that's how we learn. Um, I'm my own worst enemy, and but I'm also okay. my own best friend because I know that yeah. I learn from my mistakes. And yeah. this does feel a little Trisha Pedatus. Just saying. I'm learning to love myself. I'm learning to do better for myself. Oh, that's a good I'm thing. I'm learning to just 
learn that it's okay to not be okay. It's really okay to just accept things the way they are. I'm sorry. Somebody says she really is the diet Trisha, but I think that that would be a little reversed. I don't know. I don't. It's like saying I'm the diet Ethan. I'm like fat as fuck. I'm much fatter than Ethan. I don't think I would be the diet Ethan. You know what I mean? They're just saying. I know I still have a lot of, a lot of personal work to do on myself. And just because of the nature of the job, the nature of social media, the nature of the game, <laughs> I feel that Triple H, the game. For my own mental health, it's probably better for me to really be more reserved in a lot of ways in my life oh. to protect myself. Yeah. Because I, the light, life is not fair. No one's coming to save me. I can't expect people to always do the right thing. And I can't expect myself to always do the right thing either. Okay. But we're all human at the end of the day. And I, if there's any lesson I want other people, if there's any game. message I should say, I want other people. Because I come on here and I talk a lot of shit. And I doubt that. 90% of the time people actually listen on the sexy say, Ethan thank you say let's see please please can we all just so apparently this is I don't know how you say bismillah it means um in the name of God the name of Allah same thing right stop the hatred and disgusting behavior me too. I don't want to rage anymore. I want to just Bismillah. be left alone. To Bismillah. Do feels like, uh, it feels like I said it. Bismillah. It doesn't really sound like what it's supposed to be. Bismillah. I don't know. Maybe. My things. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want my family to be attacked. I don't want lies and rumors made up about me. I don't, you know, I'm asking nicely. You know, this is all that I ask. And I, I really hate to see it done to other people. Not just me. I hate that the community is in shambles. I hate that people get. What are we talking about? The, the beauty community? Is there a beauty community anymore? Isn't that like, uh, it looks like she's just chilling at some community the college campus. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the beauty community like dead? Didn't James Charles kill it with Jeffree Star and um, any other inappropriate people? Shane Dawson, right? I don't know. Like, Isn't it kind of dead? Tat Tatia Westbrook? Uh, what else? Who? What other makeup person is there? Bobby Boucher? The Goral, what is the Goral community? What the fuck does that even mean? Goral, what is the Goral community? It's nothing. There's nothing on Google. There's nothing on Google. Explain. Please, somebody explain. You know, berated over and over and beat up on, on, on past mistakes and things like that. So that's about... That's about okay. it. I picked up some shish tauk and I'm about to go eat. So uh, yeah, I went into this store um, here in Ottawa and they sell hijabs and I just thought... Wait, that she's... she's wait. ...to this store um, here in Ottawa and they sell hijabs. Oh, they sell hijabs. I, just, I thought she said that she was. I did Google it. What am I supposed to do? Google is supposed to tell me everything. Maybe it'll tell me on DuckDuckGo or Alta Vista. Do you guys remember that one? I thought that. Let's see. It was really cute and... Um, this shirt, though, <laughs> obviously it's not really matching with it, but I, you know I do like it. So, um, oh, it's Yahoo now. Yeah, Yahoo bought anyway, it. So that's about it. Um, so going forward, I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do for my channel. Uh -huh. I do still want to do some streams, and um, maybe you should play Fortnite, or you could be like every other girl gamer and play Dead by Daylight, because that's the only fucking thing that they play. Most importantly, I am Google. Am I supposed to Google girl girl community? hate hearing people say i don't appreciate my my vibs i love you guys VIBs? so much you're part of Vi what is a v what is even a vip what does that even stand for so what is a vib my life like to, to just i cannot say how much i appreciate you and i'm truly sorry if i've ever been very verbally abusive to you or verbally abusive in any way it's an ip I address back in the corner sometimes and i take I it out know. and i rage and i get mad and sometimes i just feel like some comments are just a bit too much sometimes um, Probably going forward, I do also want to change that way. Uh, the energy on my channel is what I uh, what I want to say. I want to change. Me too. I did the same thing, Goral. Things to be more positive, um, you know, and just I probably will end up doing more vlogs and travel content. I know things are always constantly changing, just like so drastically on my cha channel, yeah. and I know people are concerned about my mental yeah. health, yeah. and I understand that. I really, truly, truly believe that a lot of problems 
would go away if I just really listened to what spiritually is ailing me and yeah. realign yeah. myself with some values, you know? Just throw some values on that. Let's have a pizza. Hey, throw a few values on that. <laughs> Caring, loving, concern. Okay. And morals and stick to the principles of what's yeah. important in this journey of life. Values, morals, principles. Those are the three things you need. You guys ever watch the movie Warriors of Virtue? Seem like they use the same assets as what other movie Tank Girl. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, go Google it. You know, all of these bells and whistles, all of these oh. rich foods and fancy things and yeah. electronics. I like rich foods as well. Caviar, mm, beautiful. <laughs> and all that. That's not important. That really are just comforts, but they're temporary and they don't make us happy. Yeah. And I guess I've Life just always been searching for what. Dude, is this old man on a bike? What's going on here? Hold on. I don't care about what she's saying. Look at this guy. And all, that. That's not important. That really all right, sh- sh- shut up. Just- oh, it's a walker. It's a walker. That's Walker, Texas Ranger over there. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up tonight, brother. Just comforts, but they're temporary and they don't oh. make us happy. And I guess I've What's just always been doing? searching for what really makes me happy no. as a person. And I've never really known who I am as a person, as a spirit, you know? And I guess yeah. this is just the... The, the part I'm you gotta do journey. booty beauty. You gotta sleep with one of these. It's a sal- salonite, salonite, I think. Charging crystal. I used to charge my jet, my crystals next to me. I got the, a couple of things. My wife and I used to be really into crystals, so I got like a dog. It's a Jasper dog, and I used to like Steven Universe. Um, and then I found out they're all gay, and I'm like, what? I have, I have to. I'm homophobic. I can't watch this. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but the ending kind of sucked. I think it was a good show up until like you know the you know like. Like middle end, the middle of the middle end, you know? You know what I'm saying? So I guess if I want you to take anything away from this video, I guess what I want you to know yeah. is that yeah. going forward, yeah. um, you might see some very crazy things on my channel. Huh? That's crazy. And I just want to say a lot of my beezers, yeah. if you're here, you know me now. I'll probably well enough to know what I'm like. It's if you're here so and, and we bees, um, I, I, I really hope the best way. It's a holographic smoky bear meta zoo card if you want to if you want to hear crazy girl this is crazy look at him he's shirtless that's kind of hot i'm just saying you've never seen that before in your life i got it though if i could put it in my hat like this i would but unfortunately i can't do that because my hat doesn't have a pocket to enjoy my channel i would say is to just observe just just watch and enjoy and you know give your two cents try to be as yeah nice about it as you can and that's it i mean we all have different values we come from different walks of life the world is a very the world is such a big space place it's true it is and there's so many differences and different possibilities that there's a unique way of living yeah room enough for everyone to live their own unique way of living yeah completely as long as a unique as long as you're not someone like jeffrey dahmer differently from everyone else there's huh. room enough there's room enough all right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And a special shout out to all my Patreon patrons, my YouTube members, and my Twitch subs. If you'd like to learn how you can contribute even more than you already are by simply watching the video, you can check the links down below, which will unlock a special feature depending on the platform that you subscribe to, such as Patreon here that will get your name right here on this wall. Thank you so much, guys, again for watching, and have a good one.